midway through this back nine, could use this birdie here at the 14th. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. Just singes the edge, Frank. Yeah, but at least he's burning the edges. You know you're hitting good parts. Even par, currently. It's good work right there. Par and inside the top five, certainly within striking distance. Well, when you think from start of day one, it's gone through a lot of players now to sniff the lead. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. Getting set now over the putt. Birdie right there, Frank. Oh, time to get another cup of coffee. Things are heating up. The Bay Hill Club and Lodge features a really exciting finishing stretch. 16 is a reachable par 5. You'll see eagles and birdies there coming home. 17, a very difficult par 3 over the water. The bunker is there. Takes an excellent shot. And then 18 is all you want. We know that with the water in front. That second shot, which comes over the lake. And that's a hold-your-breath moment. It is a great finishing three-hole stretch at Bay Hill. Has it? Maybe wet. Frank. Interesting choice coming. It'll be interesting to reads this live. First cut here on the green for Bird. Frankie's going to If you can in the nets, going to help the confidence. Count that. Part 317. Daunting. Sure you thinking as you Just make three. Two is a bonus. There's a bunker over there. I think he's headed for it. Well, the tee shot has landed in the bunker. All right, so greenside bunker. What's he looking to do with this shot, Frank? You really have to look at the amount of green you've got to play with. You don't have to try and fly the ball right by the flag. Allow it to run. Plus, if you can get it to run like a putt, you never know. It might just go in. Doesn't dig into the lead with that par, but Frank, sometimes, and you know this as well as anyone, you just have to kind of maintain your footing out there. Frank, did you hear the sound of that coming off the club face? It was like a cannon. Good tee shot right in the short grass. This is the second shot at the par four. You can see a little bit off balance on the tee, and that one is going to be in the rough. Frank, better than we thought it was going to be. Yeah, that looked like it was headed for that thick stuff the whole way, but uh, a little fortunate. But then I guess you're allowed that in this game. Oh, without a doubt, that will be on the highlight reel later tonight. Excellent shot. Frank, it was a great setting with great crowds. We saw plenty of very good golf. Your thoughts? Well, I think the course really extracted some of the, the golf that we saw. It forced these players to play uh, just some great golf. And you know, it wasn't just like a you know, pitch and a putt golf course. So I, I, I think seeing the guys tested, so seeing the players tested at this level, um, it was a treat.
NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the final event of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today it's live opening round coverage of the Tour Championship. the approach shot starting to find the rhythm now after that balky beginning. Yeah, good opportunity here. Uh, flag very much uh, one you can aim at and especially as they're starting to play well. direction of the sand. It looks like it. Playing this par four still not on the green after that second shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot. Maybe get away here with par. Wow, what a shot. What are the chances of making it from there? Here's another dog leg to the left at East Lake in the Tour Championship. It's the 405 yard par four eighth hole and position is paramount here off the tee. You see those three fairway bunkers along the left side. You need to avoid those. You wanna be positioned on the right. If you get it down that right side in the fairway, you'll have a good chance to attack the whole location. Rich, there's rough and rough. That ball is needle nose down. Can't even see it from here. Frank, just into that first cut, yeah, it's sitting up. Um, really, th this isn't this isn't too bad a situation. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Well, that's what the great ones do. From the rough, they use their skill and their strength to get it out and get it close. Well, that was a good-looking putt, just not falling right now. Well, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. That's a solid par. Still in it, Frank. Finishing out the front nine here at East Lake in Atlanta, Georgia. Tour championship with a FedEx Cup on the line. All that pressure. And finally, we get to the first par five of the day. It is a 600 yards on the button. Doesn't quite play that long, and the reason why is that downslope on the tee shot. You get a nice draw off the tee, that ball can bound down there, and you can certainly reach this hole even though it's 600 yards. That's if you had a good tee shot. You stray a little, then you worry about the lake with the layup. Do you lay up short, or do you even try and risk carrying it? That's one of the more depressing sights in golf. You've hit a good one, and then it just sucks back too much spin off the green. On the green, and looking at a birdie opportunity. Makeable putt right here. He is currently sitting at one under for the round. That's a nice roll, and with that birdie, now two under par for the tournament. As we get set for the back nine here at the Tour Championship, Finale for the FedEx Cup. There is so much riding on today's round. Rich Lerner pleased to be alongside Frank Navalo calling all the action for EA Sports. A 416 yard demanding par four set to greet the players here as they get going on the back nine. In the fairway here at the 10th, nice way to start off the back nine. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Really good distance control there, playing well to his strengths. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. That's costly right there. Painful. This to surrender, only one shot. And now it 
one under for the round. Second round coverage coming your way tomorrow. For our entire crew, I'm Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo. So long for now. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the final leg of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today it's live second round coverage of the Tour Championship. Rich, that tee shot there has shortened up this hole considerably. It's made a tough par four into, well, We'll see, but it looks like a very birdieable hole now. You hit it right where you want. Now he has a good chance to attack that hole location. Had a birdie here yesterday in their close. Great opportunity for another one. This hole's been good to him. Birdie yesterday, and trying for another one today. You can see why this player has been compared to a young Rory McIlroy. Featured golfer making birdie and now sitting comfortably inside that cut line. Like the looks of this one. Oh, yeah. That's a good spot right there. Center cut. Nothing to argue about there, right in the fairway. Frank, you played in conditions all over the world. Here come the winds now. What's the mindset? Well, this is really what separates the men from the boys. This is where you've got to tell yourself, and it's an advantage to you. Obviously, the scores will go up a little bit, um, given the conditions. But once again, this is going to suit the stronger player today. You like the old phrase, swing easy when it's breezy? Definitely when you're hitting it into a head breeze. But um, if down breeze, tee it up a little bit, try and ride that wind some more. We mentioned at the start of this tour championship, East Lake is a par 70, so just two par fives. And here is the first on the golf course. It's the ninth, 600 yards. There's some water in play. Still, though, a good chance for birdie. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five. His second shot. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for birdie. Excellent read for birdie to move to five under for the tournament. FedEx Cup drama continuing here at historic East Lake Golf Club in Atlanta, Georgia. We're getting set for the backside. Rich Lerner and Frank Navalo for EA Sports calling all the action. And we'll take you down now to the 10th hole. Now the approach to the par 4 10th.
chance for birdie after that beautiful shot. Trying to make yet another birdie. That may have been a bit too much to ask for there, that distance putt, Frank. Yeah, it's fine to be greedy before you hit the putt, but after you've hit it, two from that distance is fine. Starting the back nine on a sour note here with a drop shot, bogey at the 10th. Settles in over the putt. Hit it. You know they say you have to keep a level head? Must you? Well, what do you do when it's about to fall off? Two rounds in the books, Frank, and a good spot from which to make a move. Yeah, well positioned. Uh, really, you know, if you're leading, it's a different pressure. Being in the chaser pack there, playing well, what a great position to go into with two rounds to go. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the final event of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today it's live third round coverage of the Tour Championship. to zero in now on this approach shot here at the par 4 10th. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I would say. This is an awkward length. Putt for par. He needs one. He'll take par and move on. Tour Championship presented by Coca-Cola from East Lake Golf Club continuing. We're at the 11th hole. It is the only hole on the golf course under 200 yards. It's 197 yard par three. Well, this could be good. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, oh, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. A good birdie right there, Frank. Oh, time to get another cup of coffee. Things are heating up. 12th hole doesn't look very long on the car, just 391 yards of par four, but it requires some accuracy off the tee, and there is that bunker on the right, and then the bunker short of the green, so a player will have to be precise. And if you can get it in the right spot off the tee, then you have a chance to go at this flag. And now it's right in his wheelhouse, good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours.
Just a pure strike and a perfect result. He'll have a good look at birdie now. Made par yesterday. This one for birdie. Just playing excellent golf. Five under for the tournament. Here at East Lake in the Tour Championship and another good par four. The 13th is 476 yards and once again a classic Donald Ross green sloping from back to front. And really that makes positioning so critical. Need to get the ball in play off the tee here. Have a chance to put the ball in the right spot and then maybe you have a go at three. So that ball nestles down in the rough. Just got away a little bit on that tee ball. Shot now from the rough. Frank, what's he facing? Well, the lie first and foremost. If it's sitting down, then obviously you're not going to get a very good contact. Nothing wrong with coming up a little bit short of the green. Problem is turning one mistake into another. And that one lands in the first cut, Frank. Interesting choice coming ahead here. It'll be interesting to see how he reads this lie. Frank, it's not about getting the ball close to the hole from that spot. Well, he had no chance to get it close. I thought he had very, very, very little chance of getting it on the green. So given that, that was a very good shot. That is a painful miss right there. And a bogey, drop shot here at the 13th. Just a couple of feet. Now with time running out, Rich, that's what's gonna make that bogey sting even more. Can't afford to give him away at this point in the championship. So through 54 holes, a really good position inside the top five with one round to go. Yeah, and those handful of players that we're looking at, Rich, um, they certainly have looked the best players this week, uh, which makes tomorrow look like a real thriller. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the final leg of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today, it's live final round coverage of the Tour Championship. That's oh, fine. Nice long tee shot there and a good lie, Frank. Now at 14, ready for the approach shot. This is a good looking shot. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. Still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with par. I mean, this skill and that, that was sublime. Just good hands coming out of the rough, able to manage the distance and now in great position. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. And getting ready for the putt. And he makes it for a bogey here. There are just two par fives here at the Tour Championship presented by Coca-Cola. This is the second and last of the five pars, the 15th. It is only 525 yards. And if you walk away with par here, you will likely have dropped the shot to the field. This is a chance to make birdie or eagle. This is an all important approach shot here at the 15th. You want to make birdie, maybe even an eagle. So what's the best way to get that done, Frank? This is where a utility club really comes in handy. Uh, it's easy to hit, gets the ball up quickly, and it's going to guarantee that second shot distance that's required to get to at least the front edge. You can't hide the flag stick from that one. He is just uh, unbelievable, that, that never deviated offline.
Oh my goodness, how did he miss that? So a tester from four feet. Oh, tough break. Clean this up with a tap. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Players now arriving at the 16th hole, 481 yard par four, and Frank, the pressure is really starting to mount here in the final round of the Tour Championship. Oh, you can smell that $10 million right now. Um, you can also see that fairway shrinking. Notice the look of those four bunkers down the left. The fairway gets narrower and narrower the further you go down. Um, you can try and fly past them, but uh, this is gonna be another one where the tee shot's downhill and the second shot. This one's looking good. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a full melody now. Excellent read for birdie to move to five under for the tournament. Frank, final round of the Tour Championship, just a couple of holes to play, and this is one of those spots where the moment is really so big, and the potential for catastrophe with the water left is really so glaring, making this quite a hole. It's the only hole on the back nine where the water is just obviously in play, and that becomes the feature all the way down the left side of this magnificent par four. On the other side of the fairway, there's three bunkers in that perfect position should you stray a little to the right. So it requires your best tee shot. And the second shot also requires your best judgment. The reason why, that green just slightly built up and protected by that front bunker. That is classy. And a chance of going in. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. That shot falls, we're a birdie. Frank, here we are, the final hole of the final round of the final event of the FedEx Cup season. Yeah, this is it. Um, they give you a little bit of a reprieve. You wouldn't think you could do too much damage on this, but if you have to make three to win, and that's to win everything, uh, there's much easier holes to play than this. That's one of the more depressing sights in golf. You hit a good one, and then it just sucks back too much spin off the green. Well, the stats say that is a green hit in regulation, but it's not yet a par on the card. Very tough putt coming up. So a tough way to close the round, missing a short putt and a bogey here at 18. Getting set now over the putt. Can't make it, Frank, if you don't hit it. Hubert Green once said, 99% of putts left short don't go in. I don't know what happened to the other 1%, but. Good putt. So that concludes the final round here at this spectacular setting. Frank, uh, final thoughts on the tournament. Rich, I thought this was really a fantastic venue that challenged the players, and we saw some exciting golf out there all across the board.